ice frozen wow Saturday morning, Dieppe, Northern France, Normandy. And it's a little bit cold. Just come out onto the beach this morning and it's a tad breezy but uh, and it's uh, really icy temperatures my goodness me we didn't even uh, contemplate it being this cold this morning in our little uh, capsule we were like on 21 degrees and it was so toasty ah oh, look at this this morning wow Just having a little look with the, uh, the jetty and just looking at the shapes how the sea is just carved the curves on all these timbers they have been stood here for so long look at the shape of this wood it's just uh, totally curved even the bolts are starting to curve off all the stones even there's a pebble big stone pebble jammed in between the, the metal and this bolt here that look at it and there's just stones jammed in enough in, in fact this this is peeling away the corrosion of the sea is just like letting that peel away now splitting up through going to uh, jump in crikey it's not every day you get under the the pier at Dieppe so I thought I'd uh, just come in come inside and see what it looks like wow this is crazy the structure of this wood and the sun's just coming through that little hole there between the timbers this whole structure wow let's look down through look right down through the structure underneath it oh look at that that's tinge of sort of green and right the other side by the by the ferry there's the ferry as the sun comes up looking out through the the bright water a little harbor what a monumental place to come this is incredible look at that right down through just looking at the timbers down here, these timbers, God knows when these were uh, installed, I don't know. Need to maybe do some research. 
Anybody got 10 minutes? <laughs> Dieppe, bright water. Look at it. Timbers. These bolts, look, just holding it all together. Wow. Look at that view out there. All right, let me just negotiate back through. Back out again. Looking at the water up along the beach. Whoa, my hands are so cold. It's uh, a little bit nippy down here. I think just in this position, a couple of the bolts have actually, the nuts of the, on the bolts have just eroded away. And that one is totally gone there. That, where that split metal was looking at uh, more investigation <laughs> of the pier. Wow. But uh, this timber up through here. That's mad. Just climbing back up the, the pebbles now. It's quite a, quite a steep incline. And these shelves of stones. Nearly up to the ground level, I think. As the sun just pokes up over the top of the land behind the church. Wow. Right, I think I'm gonna go back to the camper park and warm up, because my hands you wouldn't believe how icy it is. Whoa. So hopefully in a minute we're going to uh, scoot over to a little cafe. We sort of decided we're just going to shoot over there and maybe get a nice cappuccino just to finish off our Saturday in France. But um, it's been a real epic stay up here, to be honest. It's, uh, I love it when you sort of get somewhere diff totally different and uh, find somewhere as epic as this is fantastic. So you get a ticket on the way in, and that's where you validate the ticket you pay to escape the exit, which is just over there on the right. Get your ticket done. I'm just going down to have a look at the electricity machine as well, because um, what happened last night? Oh, the end, you saw the entrance down there. The entrance, you come in around the corner, and the entrance is pretty, pretty straightforward. But uh, they actually um, limit the amount of time for electricity here. So last night we were kind of like, hello, the electricity's gone off. And uh, we'll just go down and have a look at the porn. I'm still plugged in and it came back on at, I think it was eight, I can't remember the times now. Let's go down and have a look. I should have took a picture of the times when the electricity comes on. I, I couldn't remember when I got back to my van. But uh, there's the tower. But uh, on the top of it, it literally says, there. Charge available, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. 2 to 6, 10 to 2 a.m. So that's what it was all about. We were lucky with our kind of uh, tea last night, which we cooked in the air fryer. A good old pizza and chips, as we do. But uh, I'm getting back in for a warm up. Get the, get the temperature back up again. <laughs> Oh, so we're back in the confines of a nice warm motorhome. God, it feels nice and toasty back in here again now. You wouldn't believe how cold it is. I'm just talking to Caroline saying, my God, it's cold out there. And like I say, all that ice over the silver screen. So we had a, it certainly dropped last night. Uh, just having a little um, recollection of a couple of messages I've had. I just had a message this morning um, from Dino uh, about costs, breakdown of costs and stuff. So Dino, this so it's, it's a job for me obviously um people want to eat in different environments they want to um uh, travel further than i do so obviously my diesel cost is going to be quite a lot higher than uh, a lot of people um and that's probably my biggest outgoing on this trip is diesel cost and uh, but how many miles have we been how many places have we been <laughs> you know book yourself up a month's cruise and see how much it's going to cost you but um anyway going on from there uh, this crossing here, uh, I picked it up on an app called A Ferry. So there's this 
application a ferry so it just gives you all the sort of genres of uh, ferry companies get you the um, good deals so anyway I, I looked I had a quick shifty on there and uh, saw this crossing fancied it because it's something a little bit different that I haven't done before and uh, this was 96 pounds this crossing 96 pounds so it's just um, that's not bad at all really I, I think that's pretty good value for money so it's just a case uh, if you just get on the websites Dino and literally just trawl around the websites and uh, you know what you feel like you've got a good deal with go with it and um, you know to get across the water 96 pounds you probably get into Dieppe and get a uh, hotel and it will cost I, I don't know what the hotel prices are like in france um at the moment up around this area but again do you know what i mean 96 pounds does not get you that far so um if you're in your confines of your motorhome in here i think it's going to be 18 euros to stay here so that's our accommodation cost really um even if you're coming across it in your car and you're going to stay in that hotel you've still got to book your ferry pay for your fuel uh the, I, I would um, get your fuel back in England because uh, France at the moment is not the cheapest place for fuel uh, so I reckon it's a lot cheaper in England at the moment and because when we left it was going down quite considerably I don't know what it's like I don't know what the state is at the moment over there but um, yeah so give yourself plenty of fuel back there get on the boat get across here and again Bring you if you don't want to. Our cheapest fuel was in Spain. Oh, Spain! You, you get down in Spain, then the bottom, uh, right down to Rifa, around that area of Gibraltar. Then we're getting some cheap fuel. We saw some really good prices down there, but um, but obviously, if you were just coming over to go into France, maybe. So yeah, just having a little back to the hotel scenario. Uh, just down the road here, there is a Ibis budget. Uh, Dieppe Centre Port, so just only a stone throw from here, basically. Um, but and this is the kind of places that we used to use on our like motorcycle trips. And uh, when we look back, you know, that's what we sort of look back on a lot of the time is the fact that well, this one here is running around 80 to mid 80s euros per night, depending on night you stay there. So again, um, you know that's nearly sort of like paid for my crossing back and uh yeah and probably you'll probably get breakfast in there in in the ibis budget but um we're, we're gonna um like i say we're we're feeling um pretty good this morning we're just gonna wander over we said right this morning we're just gonna go over and get a nice coffee a little um cafe over there because we got time to kill we're not leaving till uh we gotta be out of here by 11 i think so get over on the port 12 o'clock crossing but we're gonna wander over and see if we can get something to eat and uh over there for breakfast and uh, seeing it's our last day in France and um, leaving with great memories but we have still got some Weetabix and cornflakes in the cupboards <laughs> so and, and I think the electricity is still on just in case we wanted a slice of toast and so well, we uh, got no bread. <laughs> but we haven't got no bread but uh, we're not too bothered we're wind on the end of the trip we sort of wind everything right down even our fridge is totally empty now and uh, Caroline last night wiped it all out cleaned it all up so then we can um, leave here do our um, grey water do our chemical and uh, then we just get on the and uh, off back to uh, um, Devon when we get back home so um, yeah there it is so hopefully that might have answered a couple of your questions Dino um, you know you it's just all down to sort of your budget uh, what you want to do um, I must admit you know occasionally we've uh, eaten out a few times later on in the trip as we normally do we're kind of we get into the trip and we're kind of uh, you know sort of like catering for ourselves hell of a lot and then as the um, the trip goes on we're kind of like well you know we're on our sort of like bit of a vacation really and uh, we're going to um, treat ourselves to a nice bit of dinner you know Hot Rock Cafe in Paris is outrageous um, that's what you kind of do and uh, th that's the kind of things you do when you're on your holiday so um, there you go but uh, apart from that I think we're going to leave it there and uh, call it a day from Dieppe. We'll catch you guys later on.